love arc A. I had texted her and broke up. Ah! You broke up with her? Relationship I was rebound for and broke up with her after a month, and she went to be happy with a mutual friend for the next six years. Uh, love arc B. This one is a doozy. Same friend group as person A, but we dated for two-ish years starting in the May of the same... That's all. I can't believe you remember this fucking timeline. Um, the same year I broke up on Valentine's Day, she and I had a bit of... What is tit and tat? <laughs> you did what to her what? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, after love A seeming jealous of our relationship and approached me a few weeks after betting I wouldn't. Spoiler, I did in fact kiss her and we started dating and it was in front of the love interest C. Who the fuck are these people? Who I tried to kiss right after like a fucking- You <laughs> kissed two people? Wait, what? I feel like you're kind of low-key responsible for your own misery in this story. What <laughs> is this kind of true? Really? I, I, I think you're describing this as a train wreck, but I think you're the conductor, my guy. Uh, I'm gonna keep reading. So we started our dating. Which was pretty great at the start. We would go out for dates, have fun, and even got a promise ring. Whoa! Whoa okay. Whoa, okay, he says it was a bad that idea. Um, yeah. Time passes and later she gets into a conflict with her mom and causes a whole mess that lands her living with me. Where this is where all of her bad habits start to come to life. We're talking about stealing, lying, and cheating. I broke up with her while she was living under my household and it was bad. She was bawling her eyes out uh, with crocodile tears to take her back and I did because she guilt tripped me. We dated for a month or two and then she broke up with me for some dude a grade younger than us. A week later- How fucking old are you guys? First of all, are you guys like in high school? You, you don't even know how to live together and you're already giving each other the promise? My, my dude, you need to grow up. Oh Shine. my... Okay, oh, well, yes. let's let's see. A week later, um... She comes to my room and makes out with me, complaining how the new guy is bad and we totally did not have a good night together and secretly cheated behind his back. This went on for another month and then she and I got back together. This shit gets wilder and wilder as she keeps up the bad habits and now we're approaching a critical mass and she breaks up with me again and goes for some 40 year old dude! What the fuck? Moves out our senior year. She is the reason I started therapy. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, there are so many fucking horrible things that are wrong with it that it must be heard. I mean, you guys are not adults yet, and you're doing all these, like, adult things, like moving in together and making promise rings, and uh, and you're just supposed to be at that stage where you're just messing around and having fun. The frontal cortexes are not developed, and you're probably all just full of hormones. You're just pulling the yeah, you you guys should have just fucked. You guys should just fuck, mess around, and then call it a day, and that's it. Uh, chat, aren't you so happy you're single? 